Hey everybody, just wanted to show you what I got going on. I'm up in the northeast in Coventry, Rhode Island, working on some CRD doors. We've got a Styline commercial refrigerator door that will not mistake or will not close on its own. I'm going to take it down and I'm going to show you how to rebuild it. So, here we go. Okay, we have the door down and I want to cover a couple of things with you. When the door won't close, there's a couple of reasons that will prevent it. You will have the door that will close just a little and it will drag when it gets to about that point. One point that I would like to show you is there is a washer at the bottom. It's right here. This washer fits on the bottom piece here. When this washer gets really thin, the hold open portion here will hang here. So when these wear out, you need to get more or get new ones and replace them. And when they make them a little thicker, they won't drag as bad. That's one thing. The second thing, if the door won't close, can have the bottom portion of the torque rod crack. It's a plastic piece. Here's the torque rod right here. The torque rod never really goes bad. But you've got these plastic pieces that will fit on the end here. I have this one taken off. So we're going to go to start repairing this door and I'll come back to you in just a minute. I'm back. Another thing I wanted to point out is when you pull this torque rod out, this black dust will come out. You can see here that it's all caked up inside right now. When you pull this torque rod out, I would recommend that you, there it is, I would highly recommend that you put a rag or something to catch it and not let it hit the ground or you'll spend a lot of time doing cleanup. All right, I'm back. We have the torque rod out. Keep in mind, if you have to order a torque rod, you don't have to order the entire rod. All you have to do is order the kit from Commercial Refrigerator Door or CRD and they will have two of these plastic pieces on and you can replace them. They will crack from time to time and will not allow the door to close or when you put torque on. So we have this one about ready to go back in. One other thing I want to put out, point out is when you do a repair, make sure that you've got or you have some snap ring pliers. It will require them to get the snap ring out. So make sure you have them with you before you start the project. Okay, we're at the bottom of the door. Now we're going to put the bottom hinge assembly on. So just go ahead and slide that on in there. And slide it in. Like so. And then you're going to have the screw that's going to hold it on the bottom. Grab the put the screw in. Once we get the screw in, then we'll be ready to hang the door. We've got the new torque rods and everything in. We'll check the end pieces in the new condition. Okay, so we're ready, so let me hang the door and I'll be back. Just to recap, make sure that you put the washer on before you hang the door. Watch it, sometimes it might fall off if it's a loose fit. So I just wanted to bring that back up. Alright, we're going to hang the door now, so when you do this, you've got to take the top of the door and put this in the top first, and then you will set the bottom from the bottom pin. So, we'll do that now. sure the pin stayed in place. Pick up a little bit. Come to you. Alright. Alright. Give it a little second. We'll be back. 
All right, now we're gonna torque the door. To torque the door, put this on the bottom piece and start pushing this closed. It may take a couple of times to get it tight. I don't, I'm missing my other CRD wrench, so I'm having to use ply, uh, crescent wrench here. But you can call them and get what you need. They got a special wrench for this. We'll see if I can make this happen, winging it. We'll go get another bike right here and then turn this bottom piece that puts the torque on the door and then you have to wrench tight the nut at the top again this is fighting me a little bit because i don't have the actual wrenches i need because i'm up in the north filming this i don't have my tools all right we finally got it so it's tight make sure you do a final torque See, but the door will close on its own.